Good morning, everybody. It's pretty quiet here at the SO and Tim Hortons in Oak Bluff, Manitoba. It was chaos just a second ago, and I think we're just in like a lull, an in-between period of craziness. This place and anywhere there is a Tim Hortons is nuts all the time. The whole area was packed up. I couldn't get out. And plus people had parked around on that side of the pumps there and the people who were in the pumps couldn't get out of the pumps because everyone was parked all around them to go into Tim Hortons. It was chaos. But eventually, I guess everybody got out of here and now I'm about to roll out too. So I gotta go pick up a couple of loads today. Uh, I've got two or three, at least two. And I'm just bringing them across the city. It's some local work today. So I picked them up on the west side bring them to the east side. Come back to the west side, pick some more up, bring it to the east side. There might be one more after that. We're gonna go back and forth. So it'll be kind of a boring day, but man, at least we're driving trucks and we're staying close to home. Because tomorrow, which would be June 24th, that'll already be in the past for you when you're watching this. Uh, on June 24th, 2023, <clears throat> there's that truck show in Steinbach. And a whole bunch of us guys are gonna be there from work. And uh, they're gonna be there with their trucks tonight already. So I'm. I might bring my truck there tonight, but most likely what I'll do is I'll I'll go there and say hi to them, but I'll wash my truck down and then just bring it there first thing in the morning, make sure my spot is all ready and so I can just drive right in in the morning and park. And then we'll be there for the whole day. So I guess tomorrow's vlog will be at the truck show. That should be fun. So tune in, go down below, make sure you're still subscribed, hit that bell button so that you don't miss it. Let's get this day started. All right. Let's go before it plugs up again. I'm only 15 minutes away from where my reload is and my appointment is in 25 minutes. So I should get there just on time. It's a very small lot where I'm going so I, I don't want to plug it up and get there too early. That's why we all have pickup appointments so that we don't all come at once and you know, block everything sort of like what they do here then nobody gets loaded so we will be on time Oh, get some of the fresh air in here. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Yes. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I really hope the weather's going to be good. Earlier this week, the forecast for tomorrow was rain. Really hoping it'll be a nice day. Not too hot. Not too sunny, but nice and warm and comfortable. Here's my first of two loads today. Just taking them to the other side of Winnipeg. Not going very far at all. Staying real close to home. Just two real quick, quick ones, because then I got to get to the shop and we got to clean up Old Blue for tomorrow. It's gonna be good. Oh, it's hot out. It's another hot day out. It is 30 degrees Celsius out there. What's that in Fahrenheit? It's hot. This Canadian is melting again. All right, let's we'll get our paperwork. Let's get out of here.
finally got to my delivery point. It's just on the other side of Winnipeg. It took me 36 minutes to drive here, so I just left the vest on, whatever. When I'm on the highway, I like to take it off. I don't like looking like a pylon or like a traffic cone sitting in the seat as I'm driving down the highway, so usually I'd take it off, but... So I'm here, I've got to wait a little bit. The forklift guy is gonna come get me when he's ready for me. We're gonna take this stuff off. I'm gonna run back, grab another identical load, bring it back here, and then we're gonna to go to the shop and we're gonna wash Old Blue and get her all ready for the show tomorrow. So Old Blue's ready for the show tomorrow. I gotta take those tarps off of there yet. So I've got it all washed down, cleaned. Once I get to the show, we're gonna be there about two hours before it starts. That'll give me time to wipe everything down and polish it, give it the whole bull snot once over. I've got tons of bull snot with me. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> so it was a little bit of a short day. Like I've been saying, we were just trying to stay close to home. I've been waiting two years for this truck show. It's a, it's a big thing for me. It's the local one. It's for uh, supporting local charities here in my local region. And I had to miss last year's. So I was disappointed. But this year, I wanted to make sure I was there. So to, to do that, I had to do this local stuff for this week. But next week, we'll be back to our, uh, you know, giving her. To our giving her attitude. Just going as fast as we can. Look at this, the shine came out really nice and everything. It's amazing, because it gets dirty on the road, right, obviously? Just a little bit of love and attention. It looks great. The guy who polished Old Blue for me is actually the guy who organizes this whole truck show. His name's uh, Bill. He organizes this whole thing and puts it together. And I'm not too sure what to expect because I wasn't there last year, but there's gonna be some live music, bouncy castles. So it's a family environment for all the kids to come to as well and to enjoy. Uh, Theo is gonna make an appearance later on in the day depending on the weather. Um, if it's too hot or if there's too many mosquitoes, we'll see what happens. Uh, Britt is at home with him and she's gonna bring him out if the weather, if the weather is good enough. We don't want to take him out there if it's too too hot and he'll probably come either way. It what I should say probably is that it depends on the weather how long he'll stay. But if you are coming out, you've already uh, been there. So thanks for coming out in advance for me and belated for you. I hope you had fun. I hope I had fun. I know I know how fun. I have all my friends that are gonna be there. My dad's coming too with his truck. So uh It'll be a fun day of just hanging out with like-minded people. A whole bunch of people who love trucks. I wanted to see the difference of what bull snot does. So this part right here of the grill, I cleaned with bull snot and then I washed it. And this part of the grill, I just cleaned with regular automotive soap and water. Wash that. Can you see the difference there? That's the bull snot side. It's an automobile though. It's amazing, the difference. And that's the stuff that I use the most. Bull's not visible. It's marketed as a glass cleaner, but it cleans everything. Glass cleaning is what it's really good at. But on the grill here, like this is all covered in bugs, right? You spray this on there. Let it sit for 15, 30 seconds. And wipe it off with a microfiber towel. Uh, use a microfiber instead of a, a paper towel. Much better uh, result. So you wipe it off with a microfiber and then you take a clean, dry microfiber and then you just dry it off nice and clean, get the rest of the residue off. And it just eats everything right off of there, right? Like I just did this real quick. And that side I didn't do. So you see the difference. So when I get to the show, I'll have two hours to finish the rest of the truck like this yet. And if you look closely, let's get the right angle. I've got to clean my visor up there yet. Can you see it? You got the bull snot logo on the corner of the visor right there. It's just etched in, there it is. 
And then on that side, you got my TJV logo. So everybody knows what keeps my truck clean. Anyways, thanks for hanging out for this little short video. Tomorrow's gonna be a fun one. We're gonna be at a truck show all day. So you wanna see a bunch of nice trucks from around here? Tune in tomorrow, go down below this video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Just double check, hit that bell button so you don't miss tomorrow's video. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'll see you then.